Tawang, at a distance of just 37 kilometers from the Indochina border, in Arunachal Pradesh, is synonymous with the historic Tawang Monastery. It's just past 5 in the morning here in Tawang, and we are going to the Tawang Monastery for the morning prayers. The mountains are shrouded in mist, and it's been raining. But we could not miss this for anything. The day starts quite early at Tawang Monastery, with the young monks gathering for their morning prayers. Behind me is the Tawang Monastery. A morning prayer for the young monks has just been completed. A visit to the Tawang Monastery in the early morning is a soul-satisfying experience and an opportunity to experience a slice of the daily routine of the resident monks. We returned to Tawang Monastery later in the day. This time around, we drove up the hill to the main entrance of the monastery. The Tawang Monastery is the epicenter of Tawang town and is inextricably linked with its history. It stands loftily high up on a hill overlooking the Tawang Valley. The Tawang Monastery is fortified by a massive wall that goes all around it and like most other Buddhist monasteries was built at a strategic location from a defense perspective. It was built at an altitude of about 3,000 meters atop a hill that provided a vantage view of the surroundings. Sangye of Horodiskau told us about the fascinating history of Tawang Monastery and the legend associated with its inception. So, we are in Tawang Monastery. As you can see, Behind me, I mean, that's the main hall of the monastery. And this uh, monastery was built in 1681 by Merak Lama. Merak Lama was one of the scholars of the 5th Dalai Lama. So this monastery was under the guidance of 5th Dalai Lama. This monastery was built here. The Merak Lama is actually a monk from this region only. But uh, he was a monk for the monk. लासा गया था एंड देन जब वो वहाँ पे पर रहा था देन अंडर द गाइडेंस ऑफ़ इफ़ दलाम में ही वाज़ टोल कि आप जाइए अपने मोन एरिया में जाके मोनेस्ट्री बनाइए ओके तब वो यहाँ पे 1681 को आई मीन ही स्टार्टेड कंसर्टिंग दिस लेकिन बिफोर ये मोनेस्ट्री यहाँ पे बनाने से पहले आई मीन वो लासा से आया यहाँ पे � तो वो वो जब मेडिटेशन कर रहा था तब आई मीन जब वो मेडिटेशन करके बाहर आया तो उसका जो घोड़ा है वो घोड़ा मिसिंग था तो इन वे वो जब घोड़ा को ढूंढने गया तो ही वास आई मीन जो घोड़ा था वो यहाँ पे था तो उसने सोचा कि दिस इज़ अ साइन फ्रॉम द गॉड कि यू नो आई मीन मोनेस्ट्री को यहाँ पर बनाया जाए सो आई मीन इन वेरी फेमस मिथ ये भी एक मिथ है नो रिटर्न रिकॉर्ड कुछ नहीं है कि यू नो ता मीन्स घोड़ा वांग मीन्स ब्लेसिंग सो इसलिए जगह का नाम पड़ेगा ता वांग the monastery campus is enclosed by a wall that runs for about 282 meters. The sprawling campus consists of the main shrine or prayer hall, which is a three-storied structure, a library building, and a building which houses the kitchen, as well as 
the house of the butter lamps there are around 64 residential quarters and a school within the campus as soon as we entered the main hall or dukhang our gaze became transfixed on the beautiful statue of buddha that is placed in the center of the wall opposite the entrance the deity is a 18 feet gilded statue of buddha sitting in padmasana flanked by his acolytes the serene countenance of buddha has a strange calming effect and you feel at peace just by looking at the statue the walls of the hall were covered with colorful frescoes of bodhisattvas and other buddhist iconography gaily decorated pillars rose from the floor while colorful buntings and prayer flags swung in the breeze फिफ्थ दलाई लामा ने फिफ्थ दलाई लामा ने जब मेरा लामा को भेजा था वहाँ से लाजा से तो मेरे लामा के हाथ में पालन लामो ना जो 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 जिला में भी था जो प्रोटेक्टर एक प्रोटेक्टर का स्टेचू देखे भेजा भेजा था तो वो नाइनटीन सिक्सटीन एट्टी से लेकर एट्टी वन से लेके वो अभी तक इसके अंदर है और तो क्या है कि नाइनटीन में इस स्टेचू को एक बार बाहर निकाल के फिर से जो अभी का जो फोर्टीन दल लामा है उन्होंने फिर से प्रे करके मंदिर के फिर से अंदर डाल दिया If you ascend to the upper floor of the main hall you get a beautiful view of the deity and the prayer hall As we left the serene sanctuary of the main hall of Tawang Monastery we were filled with childlike elation and a sense of deep tranquility It was now time to head to the house of butter lamps where we would be lighting butter lamps The offering of butter lamps is a ritual with deep spiritual and philosophical meaning in Buddhism. It is a symbolic way of praying for the eradication of darkness and ignorance with the light of knowledge. As we left the heavenly environs of Tawang Monastery, we could not but agree with the words of the British anthropologist warrior Alvin who has said in his book A Pilgrimage to Tawang A visit to the Tawang monastery and Tawang is indeed a pilgrimage that is intensely satisfying to the soul <laughs>